400 rupees per person. And you get a buffet lunch. This is traditional cashew fanny, and, uh, made here in the spice plantation. Um, I can smell it already, it's really strong. <laughs> How much percent alcohol? 40, 40, 40. So I'm only going to have a sip because I'm driving. Right? <laughs> That's good, just joking. The whole property is around 350 years old. Now the seventh generation looking after it and it's around 130 acres. It's like around 57 hectares. All of you can see this tree here. And on the tree the red red berries. Yeah, it's coffee. It's a coffee beans. If we went to a big big plantation of coffee, we'll come to see these plants in a bushes form. Because they are hand picking, easy to harvest, we are grown little. So there are two types of coffee, Arabica and Robusta. Now this one is Arabica, the milder one. Yes, now all of you can see the small plant. And on the small plant, all of you can see these chilies. Yeah? Yeah, it's not a normal chili, its name is a peri peri. How about peri peri? No, the peri peri sauce, chicken, dominoes, McDonald's, nanos, the peri peri chili. It's originally from Mozambique, South Africa. The Portuguese ruled on Goa, that time they introduced Goa, that's why it's called the Portuguese chili. It's like a little dynamite. It is around 2,800 times spicier than the normal chili. <laughs> Who's trying? Yeah, want to try? Yeah, why not? Yeah, just come, I'll give you the red one, red one, come. <laughs> come this way. Okay. Yes, but this one 2090 now, these flowers are for 2020 now. Yes, yes. Okay? So, cool, cool. Chocolate. Good. First green, the current color changes to orange, look like a papaya. And inside there is a beans, you harvest it, process and make it chocolate. And have you seen that raw beans before roasting? When it's thrown, it's dark violet color. And for that beans, only the white color sticky pulp is there. You heard about cocoa butter? Mm -hmm. It's made from that. The pulp and the beans are used for the chocolate. But for exact plantation of cocoa in India, you have to visit Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Andhra, the southeastern part of India. We can make a chocolate, but we will not get a sufficient quality. If you make it, it will look like a duplicate chocolate. So we are happy with the cocoa powder, we not the chocolate. So this is a beetle nut. And if you break open the fruit inside, there's a nut inside. And if you apparently if you chew that nut, you'll have the same effect as if you've drunk 30 mils of straight alcohol. It's, you know, when you see people chewing betel nut and their mouth goes all red and they're spitting orangey red stuff on the ground, that's yeah, where it comes from. Over here we've got a green cardamom plant. So you've got green cardamom, white cardamom and black cardamom. Um, three different plants. This one here is a green cardamom and um, it's the most expensive of all the cardamoms. Um, you can see it there. See the little white flower. Oh, the cardamom. 
cranberries on. So once it gets ready, it opens. It looks like a lemon. It looks like a lemon, but, but it's not a lemon. It's not lemon, but once it gets ready, it opens. And from that, two spices fall, two different spices. So what is that? No? No, it's very common spice, huh? It's not from the Mars. It's from the earth. It's a nutmeg and the mace. Ah, How about mace, no? There you the clear guess, the pepper spray. It's called as a mace guess. It's made from that the orange color flower like spice. In India, mostly used for the biryani. And the nutmeg is the nut of the fruit. So once it gets ready, it opens and both the spices fall down. You heard about this? It's gout. Gout? Oh, very good for them. Just take one nutmeg powder, half lemon juice and ginger. Crush it and make a paste and don't eat. A plant at 50 days. You will get relief from the gout. You have to continuous massage for a 15 days. That was really interesting. interesting to see where the spices that we use commonly in the kitchen, where they grow what the plant looks like and really to understand I suppose that you know we buy a whole packet of spices but here when you see how they grow you can see really how many plants are needed just to make that packet of spices that we might commonly use in the kitchen in every household everywhere in the world. We're off now to a friend's rubber tree farm. They also have a banana tree plantation on a beautiful river that borders a nature reserve. The drive out there is absolutely beautiful. You really get to see the Indian jungle with the rice plantations and beautiful mountains. border of Goa and Maharashtra and uh, there's a big uh, wildlife sanctuary nature reserve behind me it goes right up there's banana plantations before it but we're out here just uh, fishing I'm aiming to chase what they call locally here a chunuk um, which is also known in Australia as a uh, freshwater barramundi I've got a little stump jumper on let's see how that goes and um, hopefully I don't get eaten by a tiger there's friends of ours that live just up here who this part of their property their dog was taken just recently by a tiger so I uh, got one, one eye on the water and one eye behind the back of my head what are we 
been trying for about an hour or two. I'm just hiking up through these small gorges and that. Some nice sized tilapia they get here in India. So I'll keep trying and see how we go. Yep, on. I think I've, uh, I think I've hooked a tilapia. Yep, it's a tilapia. First ever tilapia caught in India. Neil's hungry, look at him go. <laughs> oh, cushy. <laughs> uh, look. Chicken. Oh, but here. So bash. Much lina hi. rubber tree plantation and you get to see how they actually process milky sap that comes from these rubber trees. तो यहाँ अभी झाड़ को कितना कट कट करके किया था अभी ये जो काला दिखाई दे रहा है ये है नहीं नहीं हाँ नहीं नहीं second दो ही बार किया है ये second तो ये क्यों ये ये क्यों लगाया है ये डामर है इसलिए क्योंकि इसका पानी अंदर ना आए बारिश के टाइम पे इसका पेड़ और एक झाड़ पर कितना बार कर सकता है एक ही बार अभी इसका खत्म होने के बाद अब यहाँ कर सकते हैं अच्छा लगा चिल्ली या नाइस Well, have you ever wondered how natural rubber is processed? Well, the farmer early in the morning will walk around collecting all the milky sap, also called latex, out of all the cups. He will then strain and pour all the latex sap through a filter, then he pours it all into metal trays. He then adds in formic acid, which he will start to mix and stir through with a paddle. Very quickly, the milky sap starts to coagulate, going from a liquid form to a solid form, looking like a block of tofu. You'll use a roller pin to start to press and flatten out the solid latex. The next step is to put the latex through a roller press. This process presses out most of the moisture and thins it evenly into big sheets. Now it's ready to hang out to dry. Once dried, it's sent off to factories around the world to be processed and made into many things we use every day. From gum boots, thongs, to the rubber soles on your shoes, garden hose, balloons, gloves, and all types of tyres. No doubt you can think of many more things that is made from the natural latex sap of the rubber tree. They are called jackfruit. That's very good. We really 
enjoyed that spice plantation. That was cool. Yeah, and I loved going up to the rubber tree farm. Just didn't realise how many things every day is made and we use from rubber. Yeah, but join us on our next Fair Income adventure. We're going to show you some of the historical places around Goa and we're going to check out some of the spectacular beaches there. So please subscribe and if you enjoyed this episode, give us a thumbs up. See you on our next Fair Income adventure.